Good evening, Central Texas and Brazos Valley. Welcome into Friday Night Lights by District Round Edition with Vin Peck. As always, I'm Justin Woodard. How about some playoff football, my guy? You ready? Let's do it. I've been waiting for it. Yeah. Hoping we can survive in advance tonight. Yeah. We can here. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we just got to limit our mistakes to get yeah. through the next round, Justin. All right. Big night last night. A lot of winners from our, our area. We certainly did. Like Belton, Madisonville, etc. So how did it go tonight? Let's get to it. Enough talking. We're going to start in Class 6A. How about Waco Midway, your district champs, hosting Waxahachie. Great start here. Ty Brown, play action, unloads it deep down the boundary. Jackson Baird beat the defender and is going to let him know about it. Mossum, son, baby. Tutty, 7-3, Panthers in the blink of an eye. But the Indians answer back. Ramon McKinney, your quarterback. Time, looking, steps up in the pocket, throws a dart to Jaden Watson. <laughs> One-handed grab. Whoa, bad guys. That's a okay. highlight, though. 10-7, back and forth we go. But the Panthers have a response. Brown, you saw him earlier unload it deep. Well, he's going to roll. And again, just on the money to bear down the boundary. Tip towing, tail lights to the end zone. He's going to bust it. 13 to 10, midway on top at that point. Oh, are you kidding me? Vin Peck oh, upset goodness. City, though. They go down 20 to 19. All right. Harker Heights on the road, taking on DeSoto. As you see, DeSoto, very good. Number two in the state. And they are up 22-0 here, or they go up 22-0 here. Jamari Lay, pick six for the Eagles, and they are just getting started. Also want to draw your attention to DeSoto's quarterback, DJ Bailey. He is signed to play for Sam Houston, Justin Woodard, and this is kind of how Justin plays in the video games. Roll out 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage, then we're going to look, keep the play alive. Dalen Singleton on the near sideline makes it 29-0, and then later on in the second quarter, Bailey Little play action, read option, down the near sideline. That's Ethan Feaster, 75 yards for the score. Harker Heights falls in this one, 50 to 10. All right, let's go to class 5A Division One district champion, number nine, College Station, hosting Bernie Champion. Opening drive, Coug fans are going to like it. They're on the move. Arrington Maiden slinging out, Peyton catching, gets a nice block outside, whoop, cuts it up the field. Going to be ridden out of bounds, but number 15's got him a nice gain and a first down. Looking to pay it off, Maiden. I mean, look out, gets popped, but he gets out of it, his muscles and all, and then he's going to take it himself into the end zone. Reservations for six for number seven. Let's go. Muscle on him, my guy. That's my neighbor. We work out at the fitness center together, He's Justin. stronger than you, my guy. Uh -huh. then the mist coming down. Aiden Martinez-Brown squeaks through the hole, finds a little crease in daylight. That's all number one needs. Sidey, 14 nothing. All Cougs. Second quarter now on the doorstep. Tony Hamilton. Going to take it, turn those legs, boom, boom, boom. Into the end zone he goes, pull up a score. How about it, College Station moving on, trying to get back to state for three years in a row, 51-28. All right, just across town, AM Consolidated oh. taking on San Antonio Wagner. Consol the two seed after a late upset in the last week of the regular season. Thunderbirds usually run it, but they're going to pass. Latrell Stevens-Jones play action to Wanye Taylor. He goes in for six, and look out, Wagner takes the early lead. It was a little misty, as you see here tonight, Justin Woodard, and boy, Whoa. it was uh, fogging up my camera. Couldn't get a clear look at this, but you see Peyton Bjork, he kind of just disappears into that mist, but here he comes. I was able to wipe it off for that. Uh, touchdown for Consol to make it 7-all. Then later, another one for Peyton Bjork. Touchdown to make it 14-7. They actually went into the half down 17-14, but after that, look at this. Consol rolls 45-17. All right, we stay in Class 5A Division One. Lake Belton at Ditton Ryan. We go with the Raiders first. QB keeper, Braden Musset, all alone. Are you kidding me? Bell, Lake Belton got to contain the quarterback, but he goes down the boundary into the end zone. Then a little quick look at the pass. That was a QB keeper all the way. Steps out of an ankle tackle and Musset. Oh, it's two tutties for number two. Uh-oh. But here come Belton. Eli Mascarina steps up. That's a five-star. Micah Hudson running to your living room, going to Texas Tech. But was it enough for the Broncos? It was not 38-13. All right, Brenham taking on Port Natchez Grove. This was a rematch from the playoffs last year. The Indians made it all the way to the state championship game. Things started off okay for Brenham, but then Port Natchez Grove starts moving. Handoff here to Isaiah Wynn. Nice little gain, and they are going to punch it in with their quarterback. The Indians roll past the Cubs 37-7. They get the big win. Still a good season for Brennan. All right, more Class 5A Division II. we got back-to-back -back losers. We need a winner here. Huntsville at Texas City. 
Late second quarter we go, game still scoreless, but not any longer. Braylon Phelps off tackle run, little crease, and he's going to bust it into the end zone. He goes number four, seven nothing Huntsville, looking good to pull the upset. Late third quarter, they're going to feed their man again, Phelps. Now, Ben, I'm no genius, but forward progress has stopped right about now. It's done. No, it's not. No. Nope. They rip it out. Oh. The refs don't blow it dead, and all of a sudden, Come Texas on. City gets a defensive touchdown. Come on. And we now. got a brand new ball game. Then Texas City trying to make something happen. The quarterback don't know what to do in there, but it's being picked off by the big man. Kadarian Easley going to bring the whole Texas City team with him the other way. That would lead to a field goal. That was your game winning field goal. Huntsville does it 10 to 7. All right, University taking on Crockett out at Waco ISD Stadium. Travion DeGreat subbing in for an injured Cade Bynum at quarterback, and he is picked off here, taking all the way back for six. Cameron Dickey picks six, first points of the game. It's 6 nothing Crockett in the first quarter. Ladarius Evans, though, gets the handoff here as the Trojans try to make something happen, fighting for every yard, and London Smith, later taking the snap and he is going to misdirect his way and look at the leg turn right there into the end zone for six we'll pull up a score see if it was enough waco university just edged by crockett 14 13. man in the playoffs for back-to-back -back years for the first time since 2003 too you gotta tip your hat yes all right time for our first break here on friday night lights after this some good teams are playing china yep. spring and franklin right we got 4a and 3a yep. all that and more coming up
Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. Every team wants to play in Jerry World. Some are looking to make it back, though, Justin. Yeah, very few teams get to go every single year, but we do have a couple in this block that have made it multiple years in a row. Speaking of, let's start with them. Class 4A Division 1, number 7, China Spring taking on Lake Worth. First quarter we go, Cougars are going to strike first. Their all-star quarterback, Cash McCollum, rolls left, turns his shoulders and throws a dart to a wide open Cameron Campos in the end zone, 7 0. What a start for China Spring. You want more passing game when well, we got it? McCollum, this time in the pocket, sets his feet, unleashes it. I mean, a beautiful ball down the field into the arms of Matthew Battles. You can't throw it any better than that for the North Texas commit. Okay, you've seen the arm and the gun. How about the run? Whoop! Fakes the pitch on the option. The Red Sea parts, pick him up, put him down. All the way, tail lights to the end zone. And then you're going to see Kyle Barton bust a touchdown. But it's all China Spring 42-24. All right, Connolly here in Bryan facing Giddings. Cadets first drive of the game. Jamarion Vincent going to give a little swing pass to Kobe Black. You know, fun fact about Kobe Black, Justin, I don't know if you're familiar. You ready? He's a five-star. <laughs> goes the distance. 7 nothing. Connolly stays that way till the second quarter. Cadets Threatening once again on the doorstep. Vincent this time, though, on the QB keeper. Weiss his way through traffic and stays on his feet. Goes down the sideline. 14-0 Connolly in command. And Connolly would get the win in this game. 27-6 over the Buffaloes. Okay, like China Spring, they've won back-to-back -back titles. Well, so is number eight, Franklin. Looking for a quest for three in a row. Taking on Hallettsville. No problem in this one. First quarter, Lions go to work. Court Lowry hands it to Devin Heldrago on the sweep. Cuts it back across the screen. Whoop! Makes one guy miss. Makes another guy miss. Breaking ankles and everything. All the way to the end zone. Wave to him. He gone when it's a track meet. Number eight's going to win it. Seven nothing, Franklin. More ground game. Let's go up the middle this time. Jaden Jackson through the whole little crease. Lowers the boom on one stiff arm. Get off of me. Reservations for six for number one. Tail lights, baby. 13 nothing. All Franklin. Let's spread the wealth now. Second quarter. RJ Fulton takes the handoff. Cuts it outside. Die for the pylon. And he's in. The zebra say he's there. Oh, yeah, he is, baby. Franklin, all winner, 50 to 22. All right, let's go 3 AD1. We'll stay 3 AD1. An all Central Texas showdown. T taking on West. Opening drive of the game, it's the handoff to Shamar Davis. And this is going to be a foot race to the end zone. Davis around the corner, and he is in for the touchdown. 7 0 after the extra point. Next drive, though, West getting ready to answer back. Gus Crane looking through his options, and he finds Cannon Cook, and he's cooking down the sideline for seven and two point conversion. So they actually take the lead after that score. Second quarter now. Davis, Davis takes the direct snap and he is into the end zone. That makes it 13-8. Teague pulls this one out 29-27 over the Trojans. How about that one over at Mary Harden Baylor? Some quick scores for you. Rockdale goes down to Columbus 56-8. New Diana takes down Anderson Shire with 6-0. Wake of La Vega all over Fort Worth Dunbar 42-21 in the fourth. Lexington squeaks it out 14-7 over Bowling. Big shout out to Anderson Shiro. Nine wins most yeah. in program history. Yes. All right. Time for another break here on Friday Night Lights. Keep it here.
Welcome back to Friday Night Lights. Almost made it through the first week yes. of the playoffs, but got a few more to go. Oh, hope we get through some more winners. Yes, let's let's do that. 2A Division II, Riesel taking on Cayuga. Wildcats in control early, though. 6 nothing lead. Gunner Douglas going to roll out. It finds Hayden Shrank. Honey, I shrank the kids. That's a two-point conversion. Makes it 8 nothing. Cayuga over Riesel. Midway through the second quarter, though. Douglas on the read option. He's going to keep it himself. That sets up another touchdown on the next play. So that made 14 nothing Wildcats. Now Riesel looking for some offense. Indians quarterback Gavin Oliver. He's rolling out and picked off by none other than the other quarterback, Douglas. Final score, Cayuga gets the win, 20-14. All right, some tabs action. Home playoff game for Brazos Christian hosting Riker Catholic. It's all Brazos Christian here. You're looking at Jackson Catholic over the left-hand side. Into the end zone he goes for the touchdown. Eagles are looking good, flying high. Let's go to the air now. Quarterback Cooper Matt. Time looking out, red alert. Oh, Ooh. squeaks it past the defender. Isaiah Perkins hauls it in. Nice camera work by there by our Sarah. Nice shot, girl. All right, so Brazos Christian, two offensive tutties. How about a defensive? Bad snap. Just pick it up. Nobody does it. It lands right in the arms of, who is it? Brody Gardner going the other way. Big man tutty. You love to see it, Ben Peck. Pull up a score. I think Brazos Christian's moving on. Oh, baby, yes, they are. 59 nothing. All right, let's go just across town. St. Joseph's hosting Bracken Christian, and Jackson Carey is going to start the party for the Eagles. Takes the carry, and he is not going to stop until he gets into the end zone for the first touchdown of the game. Eagles get the ball back, and Luke South is going to take this to the house. Off the throw. Nice little easy touchdown there. Still in the first quarter, Mark Mitchler says he wants his turn. He's going to chuck it deep. Throw that thing. Nope. 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 I'm a sip on <laughs> He goes, say, hey, hey, you, get that block. We're going into the next round, 58-0. They get the win. All right, how about last night? Recap real quick. A lot yep. of games last night. Belton a winner. Reese Rumfield had a lot of house calls by himself. He did. Uh, Madisonville, winner, winner. Lorena, how about that? And then the big one, Academy, pulled the upset. You how, talked to Coach this morning. How about that? Got to give it up for the Bumblebees. Taking down a top six team in the state. All right. Thanks for watching Friday Night Lights. We got your college football tomorrow. Again, thanks for watching. And again, last show, but next week we'll still have high school football. Don't worry about that.